Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. I'm your favorite frugal introvert, Jerry. And in today's video, I'm showing you my 2024 sinking funds and savings challenges binder setup. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I have a lot of binders here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my high priority sinking funds binder. Okay, so how are you guys doing today? Let me know in the comments below. Happy New Year's Eve. What do you have planned for tonight? So I'm actually going to church. It's gonna be like an early church service. It starts at three o'clock. So I need to hurry up and record so I can edit this video. Um, but after that, I don't know, it's probably gonna just be a pretty chill day. It is self-care Sunday for me. So I'm probably just going to um, just stay in the house. I don't like going out to the bars or the clubs or anything like that. So I'm definitely not gonna do that. But I'm probably going to give myself a face mask, a nice pedicure, and just relax, um, watch some TV or some YouTube or something like that. Honestly, I might wrap it up pretty early. <laughs> I know, I know that's really boring, but I'm really tired. I didn't sleep that well last night because believe it or not, I think I have another cold, <laughs> which is the third time within the last three months. So I really didn't sleep that well last night. So honestly, I might be turning it in kind of early whatever it is what it is though so if you guys have been following along with me on my financial journey you have seen this binder several times i usually pull out this binder on transfer tuesdays whenever i'm stuffing my sinking funds i'm still going to be doing that same thing for 2024 however i'm going to be trying something a little bit different and i'm going to be doing savings challenges for almost all of my sinking funds in that video so i'm really excited about that normally i don't like to do that because i have very specific amounts that i have set for for each of these envelopes and I don't want to risk not being able to put that exact amount in my envelopes if I'm doing savings challenges. However, I think I kind of have a system in which I can still set a specific amount for those envelopes, but I can still play savings challenges at the same time to make things fun and spice things up a little bit on my channel. So um, I guess this video will also kind of be like a um, 2024 goals video. Um, I don't really have a lot of financial goals. I'm keeping it pretty minimal. Most of my 2024 goals are pertaining to like self-care, lifestyle, physical, mental, things like that. And I don't really have a whole lot of financial goals this year. I feel like last year I had so many financial goals to the point where I kind of neglected myself. So. I am doing a complete 180 for this year and I'm focusing more on my self-care rather than the financial goals. So with that being said, the first envelope in this binder is new home. My goal for 2023 was to save $15,000 by the end of the year. I didn't quite get to that goal, which is perfectly okay. I got to 14,500, which is absolutely amazing. So in the new year, I'll get to the 15K and then I'm gonna increase that goal to 18K. I would really, really in an ideal world, I would get to $20,000 by the end of 2024, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to that point because I have some other financial goals that I wanna get to. Plus, like I said, I'm doing more self-care, so I'm gonna have less money to contribute towards new home. However, I'll be perfectly okay with just getting to 18,000. I'll put extra money whenever I can. I came up with this $18,000 goal solely based on my full-time income, not including any side hustle income like Etsy or YouTube. But if I do make any extra money, that will be going into new home as well. So hopefully that will push me a little bit closer towards that $20,000 goal. So in terms of the savings challenge that I'm gonna be doing, I'm actually going to be doing a 2024 and 2024 savings challenge. Now I know that's not going to um, get me to the $18,000 goal, so I'm probably gonna have to do a few more savings challenges here or there, but the primary savings challenges that I'm gonna be doing for this envelope are gonna be my um, monthly 2024 savings challenges. So I actually created all of these challenges here that I have available in my Etsy shop, which is always listed below in the description box. So every single month there's a different challenge. Um, so I'm gonna be starting with the January one and the highest number on here is 20. And then the next month I'll go to February, then March and then April, so on and so forth until I've completed every single savings challenge. And then by the end of the year, I'll have $2,024 with these particular savings challenges. Now, like I said, I'm gonna have to add in a few more savings challenges here or there, but we'll 
cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so my next envelope is new car. Now, I'm not planning on buying a new car, fingers crossed, anytime soon, but I do have an older car, it's a 2011. So I know that that car isn't gonna last me forever. I know that at some point I'm gonna have to get a new car. So rather than waiting until my car breaks down and then scrambling to try to find the money to get a new car, I've already started saving for a down payment for a new car. I currently have $1,800 in here. My goal for 2024 is to get to $3,000. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna be using this beautiful 50 envelope box by Fun and Beauty Jones. Now I've been wanting to incorporate this box into my savings challenges for a while now. I've never actually finished an envelope challenge. The 26 envelope, the 50 envelope, the 100 envelope, I've never finished one. So my goal for this year is to finish this 50 envelope box. So this is what it looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. These are some of the cards here, but they are all these beautiful marble prints. So Dawn's Etsy shop and her YouTube channel are linked below in the description box if you're interested. But what I really like about her 50 envelope box is that um, this little card is double-sided. So I'm gonna be doing the $1,275 side. So um, like I said, my goal is to get to $3,000. I only need $1,200 to get to that goal. So I'm gonna have a little bit extra by the time I'm done with this. So the highest envelope on here is 50. But there's also a second side, which you'll save $615. So I may actually do this second side for um, the new home as well. I, I'm not quite sure, I haven't quite worked that out yet, but I'm definitely gonna be doing this side for that new car. My third envelope in here, oh, also, um, I still have my $5,000 new whip tracker that I have in my Etsy shop. I really, this is a savings challenge, you can use it as a savings challenge, but I've mainly been using this as more of like a tracker. Um, it is eight and a half by 11. I like to shrink my challenges down on my printer sometimes so that they'll just fit in my envelopes. So next up is car maintenance. I don't really have a goal for that. So I am gonna be doing the roll the dice challenge to start out with. You save $105 with this challenge. This is also available in my shop. There are three that come with this. I just have this first one in here, but the second one I think you'll save $222 and then the third one is like 300 and something dollars. I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. So I'm gonna be doing this one for car maintenance. Next up is medical. I don't have a goal for that one as well. Oh, here we go. So this is the second one. So I'm doing the second one for medical. That's $222. And I currently have $858 in medical. Next up is car insurance. Now I am not actually doing a savings challenge for this one, but I do have the savings tracker. So I pay my car insurance premium every six months and it's around $500, I rounded it up. It's due in May of 2024 and each of my icons is worth $20. So I'm just gonna be stuffing the regular $85 a month in here. I'm not gonna be doing any savings challenges for this one. Same thing with subscriptions. I'm not gonna be doing any savings challenges with that one, but I do have a couple of trackers in here that I'm gonna be using to track my progress. I have a few different um, subscriptions that I have all grouped in this one envelope. So I've got my Amazon Prime, I've got my CVS Care Pass. My PO Box used to be in here, but I've actually moved it to an another envelope, so I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. My Canva Pro subscription, and then Progressive, I have my renter's insurance linked with my car insurance. So I'm gonna be putting $40 a month in here now, I'm rounding it up just in case one of the subscriptions decides to increase a little bit, I have a little bit of a buffer in there. So I don't have trackers for everything. I don't have one for my CVS Care Pass and I'm okay with that. But I do have a tracker for Amazon Prime, Canva Pro, and then I recently created one for my home slash renter's insurance as well. So um, these two are already in my shop. I'll put this one in the shop as well. So I'm gonna be using those trackers to track my progress for the subscriptions. And then I also have um, a cell phone. This is actually a new envelope. So I am going to be doing this little cell phone savings challenge right here. So my goal isn't to save up money to buy a new phone because I already have a phone. I have an iPhone 14 Pro or something like that. And I got it earlier this year. So it's in really, really good condition. It's fairly new. The whole reason that I'm saving money for the cell phone is so that I can pay it off. And I wanna pay it off early because I got suckered in <laughs> into getting this phone and signing a contract for three years and I'm only paying $3 a month. 
and that's not gonna cut it for me. I'm currently with Verizon and I really wanna get out of Verizon and go to another servicer. So I have to pay off my phone before I can get out of that contract. So this is why I'm saving up for the cell phone. So I owe a little less than $1,000 on this phone. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save $1,000 by the end of the year, but I wanna save as much as I can so that I'll be a little bit closer to paying off that phone early. Hopefully I'll be able to pay it off by the end of the year though, because I, I really do not like Verizon and I, I'm really ready to get out of that contract. All right, and then we have two more envelopes in here. Household, I'm not gonna be doing a savings challenge for this one. So what I've been doing throughout the year that I've actually kind of grown to like is I normally budget about $40 a month for household products. Whatever is left from that category, I will put it into this sinking fund. So I'm essentially kind of like saving up for bulk purchases with this envelope. So like I said, no savings challenge for this, but I do have this little tracker that I've been filling out. Well, I've kind of been neglecting it. So I need to go off camera and actually kind of fill it out a little bit more, but I'm gonna be using that to kind of track my progress in here. And then lastly in here is my emergency fund. It's fully funded for the time being. It's currently at $11,382, which is way, way more than I need. Honestly, um, it's about nine months worth of my expenses. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so we're not gonna be doing anything with this, but I just wanted to keep this envelope in here as a reminder that this is how much I have. All right, so this is everything for my high priority sick of funds binder. Now, this used to be my low priority sick of funds binder, but I've actually kind of turned it into like my business binder. Um, I don't really have a lot of envelopes in here because I don't really have a lot of needs for my business but um i have this business envelope this is just whenever i want to buy new equipment savings challenges from etsy and things like that so no, i'm not doing a savings challenge for this one my p.o box so i had this in my subscriptions envelope but i've moved it into the business binder because this is for my channel so not going to be doing a savings challenge for this one either but i do have a little tracker that i'm going to be using and this is what the tracker looks like. So my PO box, um, my goal is $180. This is actually a little bit more than what I needed. So I, I just rounded up a little bit just in case they decide to increase the cost. So I actually think I need like 160 something. Um, next is Uncle Sam, this is for taxes. Again, I'm not gonna be doing a savings challenge for this but I do have this little tracker. So I have used this before on my channel so I'm gonna continue to use this little tracker. And then lastly in here is giving. So I pull money from this one whenever I do giveaways or I wanna send happy mail, etc. No savings challenge for this one. And then I do have this little envelope. Um, it has my name on it. And this is just whenever you guys send me cash. So I don't spend the money at all. I just kind of put it back here because it's special. It means something to me. And so I have some $2 bills. I have a lot of ones. And then I've got some J bucks back here. And my girl D over at Big Queen Budget sent me this little J Bucks tracker by M Loach Designs. So I guess the letters on here is where those particular notes were made. So I guess the J's are like made in Kansas City or something like that, I'm not sure. It will take me forever to fill up this because I don't use cash. If you guys are new here, I, I don't use any cash at all. I only use my credit card for everything and then I just pay it back at the end of the month. All of my envelopes are stuff with prop money because I just like to keep the money in the bank so I can collect interest. I don't like using cash, I don't like going to the bank. Yeah, and I don't think it's safe, so I use prop money. All right, next up is my occasions binder. This is by Dawn also. And then I've got my anniversary envelope in here. I've been doing my anniversary savings challenge, so that's gonna stay in here. I've got birthdays. So I'm gonna be doing, I don't necessarily have like a birthday challenge, but I'm gonna be doing my $1 savings challenge with this because I don't really need a lot of money for birthdays because I've, I've got a decent amount in here, about $84 in here already. Um, next up is Christmas. I'm gonna be using this really cute little sweater challenge that I got from Dawn as well. So I'll save $100 with this one. So I'm gonna start out with this. This is not my ultimate goal, but I'm just gonna start out with this one. Deuce's birthday, Deuce is my partner. I'm not gonna be stuffing his envelope for a while because his birthday isn't until September, but he's currently got $50 in here. Parents days, this is 
well, it was for Mother's Day and Father's Day, but it's mainly for Mother's Day. And I'm gonna be using this $200 Mother's Day challenge that I got from Jesse C Envelopes. And then I've got my Thanksgiving envelope. Um, I'm not gonna be stuffing this one anytime soon, but these are the challenges that I've been doing. So um, these are available in my shop. I've got the $26 one that I've already done. I got the $50, $52 one that I did this year. And then next year, I'll be doing the $130 one. So I'll probably start stuffing this maybe like mid-2024. Lastly in here is Valentine's Day. And I am done stuffing Valentine's Day, but I was using this little Valentine's Day um, savings challenge I got from Here to Their Journey, Rebecca. My goal was to save $100, but honestly, I don't really think I need $100 because my anniversary is in the same month as Valentine's Day. So I think that, what do I have in here? $60 is enough for a Valentine's Day present. And then I've got currently $83 for anniversary. So I think this is enough for um, this year. So most of you guys definitely know what this binder is. This is my struggle stuff and binder. So um, every single Sunday I do a struggle stuffing. That's whenever I stuff less than $50 in my savings challenges. So I will link my most recent one in the cards above if you guys wanna go back and watch that. But um, basically what I do is I roll a die and that die will determine which envelope is gonna get stuffed. So I still have the same savings challenges that I've been working on. I wanna just go ahead and finish them because I'm so close. And then these savings challenges aren't a really a lot of money. They're not like long-term savings challenges. So I didn't wanna just pull the money out and just stop doing them completely. So I still have the dollar a day challenge by Zai at Cash and Spanglish. I also have this Let's Talk About It savings challenge. I think this is from Zai as well, if I'm not mistaken. But this one is $50. I've got the Sweet Treats Challenge by Authentically Allison. I've got the Mini Cupcake Savings Challenge, this is $30. And this is by Danielle Craft Studio. I've got this New Year Challenge by Mr. Budgets. And then I have got this $45 Scratch Off Challenge by um, Saving with Peggy. So these are the challenges that I'm gonna be doing right now in my struggle stuffings. And then lastly is a an old but new binder. So I've had this binder for a really long time and I stopped using it because as you can see, the theme on my channel is purple and this binder is not purple. But I just really thought that this would go with these envelope inserts that I have in here. So this is gonna be my self-care binder. So um, like I mentioned before, my main priority is self-care for this year. So I have 12 envelopes in here. Now that, that seems excessive. It, might be but for now i'm going to start with these 12 envelopes if i need to readjust and remove some or add some then i'll do that later on what i plan on doing is kind of similar to my struggle stuffings where i roll the die i'm going to be rolling two dice and then that will determine which envelopes are going to be stuffed now it's not going to be a struggle stuffing where i'm stuffing less than 50 dollars i might stuff 300 dollars. i might stuff 200 dollars it really just depends on what I decide to budget for the week. So there are two reasons why I chose to have 12 envelopes in this binder. The first reason is so that I could roll the two six-sided dice and have 12 envelopes to stuff. But then the second reason is because I'm doing my other 2024 monthly challenges in this binder as well, because there are 12 challenges, so I wanted to have 12 envelopes. But I'm doing the lower income version. So with this version, you'll save $224 rather than the $2,024. So each envelope is gonna have a different um, savings challenge in it. So this first one has January, the second one has February, March, April, so on and so forth. So you really don't have to wait until April to do the April challenge. You can do it whenever you want to. I'm gonna be doing all of them at the same time. So my first envelope is facials. I'm gonna be doing the January challenge for this one. I'm really trying to be better about my skincare and my goal for 2024 is to get quarterly facials. Next up is massages. My goal is to get quarterly massages as well and I'll be doing the February challenge in here. March is skincare. April is hair. The May challenge is for nails. June challenge is for date night. July is for shopping. August is for fun, September is for wellness, October is for birthday, even though my birthday is in August and I probably should switch this out with fun and do my August challenge for my birthday, but 
I, I don't know. I might switch it out. <laughs> so this was October. November is vacations. And then lastly is December. And that's for home organization. I had 11 envelopes initially. And then I'm like, dang, I really need a 12th one. So I, I spent a, a good while thinking about what my 12th one was going to be. And I finally came up with home organization. You know, some of you might be like, Jerry, that's not really like a self-care envelope. But for me, it is self-care because having a clean, organized home is a form of self-care for me. Chaos and clutter and just being really disorganized causes me a lot of stress and anxiety and I don't like it. The whole purpose of this particular envelope is so that I can save up money so that I can buy the storage bins and organization systems and things like that that I really want in my apartment. Um, I do live in an apartment. It is pretty small, so there's not a lot of space to begin with. One of my goals also is to kind of declutter, and it's not like I have a lot of junk that needs to go, but I do want to get rid of things that I no longer use so that I can free up more space, but the items that I care about and that I want to keep, I want to be able to properly organize them in my space. So that's why I'm saving up money for home organization. And honestly, um, I kind of wish I had thought about this before I wrote on this envelope insert because I don't have any more, but this really isn't going to be specifically for home organization. It's also going to be for anything else that I might want for the apartment. So if I want any kitchen items, things that are gonna make my life a lot easier. One day I was baking and I needed lemon zest and I don't have a zester. So I was trying to use a cheese grater and it just was not working. And then I ended up settling for um, a vegetable peeler, which worked, but it would have been a lot easier if I had just had a grater, right? So just things like that, that are going to make my life a lot easier. So those are all of the binders that I'm gonna be using in 2024. It may seem like a lot to some people. Um, it may not seem like a lot to other people. I'm willing to try out this system just to see if it works, see if I like it. You can always reassess your goals, your budget system, etc., and make changes to it throughout the year. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have to stick with something for an entire year to see whether it works or not. You can do it for a month and then reassess at the end of the month. If it doesn't work, then change it. If it works, keep it. So I'm going to see how this binder goes and my whole method of using savings challenges in my sinking funds. So the last thing I want to do is show you guys some happy mail that I got. So this first one is from Sai over at Cash and Spanglish. Hey, Zai. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I'm not going to read the card on camera. I've stopped doing that because I don't know if people want me to read the cards on camera. Oh, so I have a little mini savings challenge, a little scratch off. Oh, this is so cute. So when I'm done with some of the challenges in my self-care binder, then I might put this in one of my envelopes and scratch it off and see what I can save. And Oh, this is so nice. So she said that I can share this code, which is happy 2024 with my friends and viewers. And it's valid until January 15, 2024. You get 24% off of every item in her Etsy shop. So thank you so much, Sai. I really do appreciate that. So the last piece of happy mail that I have, I believe is from April over at April's Fresh Start Budget. Um, she doesn't have her name on the front of the envelope and I don't wanna show her address, but I did want a giveaway from her. So I think this is what this is. Make sure there's nothing left in here. All right, so let's see what this is. Yes, this is definitely from April. So this is her um, 2024 savings challenge scratch off. So you'll save $300 with this. So I can't wait to use this one. Um, I don't know. You know what? I'll probably also do this along with my um, 2024 challenges for my home down payment. Cause remember when I said that I'm gonna have to add more challenges to get to that $18,000 goal for home. So I'll probably do this along with the other challenges that I have for 2024. So thank you so much, April. Oh, and I have a little card too. Like I said, I'm not gonna read it on camera, but I do wanna see what it says. I'm gonna read it off camera. Look at that, that's so pretty. You are so welcome, April, and thank you so much. And I got these stickers as well. This one says, you are enough. This is something that I really need to remember in my life, that I am enough. I am more than enough. Enjoy the little things. I am kind, determined, free, positive, faithful, caring, graceful, thankful. Self-love is the best love. Yes, 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 yes. I really, really love these stickers. These stickers really resonate with me because I am on a self-care 
self-love journey. Yeah, I, I just really love these stickers and I, I might put them in my self-care binder as well. Thank you, April. I, I really, I really appreciate that. So that, my friends, is a wrap and I appreciate you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about my budget system in the comments below. Let me know if you've made any changes to your budget system for the new year or if you're just going to stick with the same budgeting system that you did in 2023. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. If you made it to the end of this video, I'm doing a giveaway, yay! <laughs> So I thought long and hard about what I was gonna do for the giveaway and I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and I'm just gonna give cash because I know everybody loves cash and everybody could use some cash. So I'm just gonna give three lucky winners $25 each and the rules for the giveaway are pretty simple. So first you have to be 18 years or older. Next, you have to be publicly subscribed to my YouTube channel. Third, this is open to everyone. So US subscribers and international subscribers as well. As long as you have Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, or you can also do an Amazon or an Etsy gift card as well if you wanna do that. Once I decide who the winner's gonna be and I contact the winner, you just let me know which one you want. The last thing you need to do is put hashtag 25 in the comments below, and that will let me know that you are interested in entering the giveaway. So this giveaway will run for one full week. So today is Sunday, December 31st. I will let this run until Sunday, January the 7th at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And then I will announce the winners on Tuesday, January 9th. So hopefully I'll be able to contact the winners prior to the video coming out. If you already have a YouTube channel and you are subscribed to me and we follow each other on Instagram, I'll reach out to you on Instagram. If you don't have a YouTube channel, then what I'll do is I'll have you edit your original comment on this video so that I can confirm your identity and then we'll get together on how I'll give you the $25. Oh, also guys, I reached 4,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And special shout out to GB over at Income Babes Budgets because she actually gave me a shout out on her community post the other day and that was really what I needed. I had 3,999 subscribers and once she did that shout out, it pushed me over 4,000. So GB, I appreciate you so, so, so much. Go check out her channel if you haven't already. Everyone that I've mentioned in this video will be listed below in the description box. Please head over to their channels and show them some love and some support and let them know that Jerry sent you their way. So I hope you guys have a great day, a fabulous new year. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.